Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at the 2018 Road Glide CVO. We're gonna walk through it. I took plenty of pictures, so enjoy the pictures, but we're gonna do a walkthrough from the front, and then I'll kind of go over some stuff that is that I see that's different from all the other motorcycles. So let's do the walkthrough. I want you guys to notice the color of the pipes too. They kind of this year blended the color in to match the color scheme of this bike. This bike is two tones. I hope you guys can see the two different tones in the bike. And again, this is just a brief we will do. I will sit down and do a brief uh, walk through with you guys. You see the, the color of the motor. They changed the color of the top of the heads. Uh, the jugs, it has the new primary, which is slimmer. The heel toe shifter is stronger. Even the shifter rod, which is one of the things I always tell you guys to change immediately. Look at the stronger heel toe shifter, that's nice. I don't agree with the uh, crash bar, the highway bar. Um, you can notice the different mounting of the engine, the different motor mounts. Um, but hey, that's that. Also, this is the wheel. On the CVO, as you can see, they did the custom fork legs. They did the custom wheel. Um, that looks like a 19 almost on the front. I'm not sure we'll get into that. That's a 21, it comes with a 21 on the front. Okay. 21 on the front and an 18 on the back. All right, let's get into it. All right, what's going on, man? It's your man, Big Cell FHO's HNIC, and we're gonna do the review of the 2018 CVO Road Glide. Um, beautiful machinery. I really believe Harley Davidson outdid themselves with this one. Um, I'm gonna go over it a little bit, kind of tell you some of the things I see different. Uh, actually, and this is brought, uh, this video is brought courtesy of my friend. Um, so we really have to thank him for letting me sit on this bike and use his bike as a demo. All right, um, right off. One of the things you have to admire about it is the color combination and the and the way that they put the colors together, the way they put the whole scheme together. For once, Harley-Davidson has apparently taken notice of how we do our bikes. Um, you know, they've been watching the different color combinations. A lot of the color combinations you see come from out west. Some of them are way out, some of them are nice and mild. Um, I really would have to give a shout out to my man Punchy at the candy shop. Uh, my man JJ from Ransom did some hell of a bikes. It's been it's been a couple of people. I really don't want to start naming shops, but uh, we all are familiar with the candy shop. So shout out to my man Punchy. But for once, somebody took the time out to really bring us a beautiful machine as far as the paint wise, the color scheme, um, the quality of the paint, the whole entire thing. Man, this is a beautiful bike, and there's so much on this bike to see. One of the things that they that they did was. They, they, they put together the mirror and the, and the lever package along with the grips. Um, you have to see, I took pictures of it, you will see that the grips, even on the Harley Davidson sign, is accentuated with the orange stripe that's in the bike. One of the things too that I want you guys to recognize right off, normally your Harley Davidson logo is right here. This year on this particular model, they put it right here on the fairing. That's genius, major shout out to Harley Davidson for that. <laughs> also, as you can see, <laughs> the, the CVOs, which have always been the flagship motorcycle, but it's always had a 110 or a 103. This year, what they did was they came out with the 117 that's only available on the CVOs. I'm not even sure if you could upgrade your motor to a 117, if you could buy a 117 and upgrade it to that. But this is the 117. Also, you got the two-tone jugs. That's awesome. To put that little, just, a, just enough touch in there for you to notice the color. One of the other things too is that I like about it is that the motor is not the regular gray. It's kind of like a dark gray again to blend with the color of the motor. Now peep this, look at the pipes. This is like a chrome gray. Awesome, it's, it's like a chrome gray pipe cover that they put on there. Again, just trying to give it its own style. You got all your blacks, you got your orange to go with the stripe. Not too much orange, not too little orange. Also, 
on the floorboards, everywhere that has the Harley Davidson symbol for the most part has the, the, the accident orange Harley Davidson symbol. My goodness, that was awesome. Also, as you can see on this bike, even the rear, like I was telling you about the orange accent on the rear foot peg, that's hot. The foot peg seem uh, probably the regular size. They seem a little bit better made though this year. The bike is just all around, all together. It, it's put together, man. You can't, you can't really change too much on this bike. This is a bike you don't want to change too much of anyway. Already, we already know the CVOs come with the longer extended bags, which gives you more bag space. So you should already know that about the CVO. Um, the seat that comes on the CVO, this one in particular, they even added the little orange stitching on the seat. The CVO has its own seat, it has a front and back seat. However, my buddy has already went and got a backrest. Um, I'll try to put that information in there on where you got a backrest for CVO. You know, they don't make a backrest. Harley Davidson doesn't make a backrest for the CVO. Harley Davidson does it. So he went out and found his backrest, which gives, which, let me tell you something. If you ride motorcycles and you ride distance, I don't care who you are, you need a backrest. A backrest will save you and, and, and keep you comfortable. It ain't gonna help your ass from hurting, <laughs> but it's damn sure gonna save you from everything else. Um, you guys really can't see the other side of the bike, but I'm, let, me, let me just let me just go over some of the stuff. Again, for once, Harley Davidson took the time to color coordinate this bike. It's perfect. It's almost black, but it's actually three colors on this bike. You have a dark gray, which is almost a black. Then you have a black, and then you have the orange accentuated stripe. Awesome. The gauges, um, the gauges, the speaker system, that's, that's standard, but the gauges, the CBO gauges, if you know anything about the CBO line, they always come with the special gauges um, that only come on the CBO, so you should already know that. Um, of course, the remote that locks and unlocks and flip-flops, bags open, and all that type of stuff. Again, if, you, if you're familiar with the CBO, that all of that is on there. Me, personally, I think this is the best buy. Um, it's not too much that I would change on here. The bike for me is already done, except maybe if I needed the higher handlebars, which I would because of the distance that I ride, I would get the higher handlebars. Um, if you know anything about the new line of bikes um, from 17, I think 17 and 18, they went with the smaller primary. So your primary is smaller now, which gives you more foot room, um, the whole nine yards. And what I like about this bike, the, what I like about this bike is again, it's well put together. And they use, they finally took the, to me, they're taking our advice. And I, when I say our, you can say blacks, you can say whoever, but they're taking the rider's advice and they're making stuff more dependable. Like the heel toe shifter on this bike, the shifter ride, which is one of the things I tell everybody when you first get your bike, there's three things you need to do when you first get a bike. Handlebars, pipe, and get rid of that shifter rod. Get rid of that stock shifter rod, because that stock shifter rod will have your ass on the side of the road. I promise you. You might not be on the road today, but you keep that stock shifter rod, your ass will be on the side of the road. Mark my words. Um, so they, they did that on this side. Um, they added that. Now, the wheel, a 21-inch front wheel, stock from Harley-Davidson now. 21 in the front, 18 in the back. So you know it got that lean. This bike has a natural lean. It, that's all factory. This bike hasn't been modified as far as the lean of it, the height or anything. So by them putting a 21 up front, which remember in the beginning now, they said we couldn't put 21s on Harleys. Now they're coming off the showroom floor with a 21-inch 21 rim, man. Major shout out to Harley. Again, um, the only thing now, those are my positives. The only thing I do not like about the 2018 Harley Davidson Road Glide is the, the crash bar or, or the highway bar, as you guys call it. This style of highway bar will stop you from putting lowers, which will make this a full dresser. Me personally, I have to have lowers. I like my lowers. The reason why I like the lowers is number one for the look. No, number number two for the looks, but number one because when you're riding, that wind coming off of there and your foot is on this floorboard, that, that wind constantly hits your shins and gives you, it, it makes you put pressure on keeping your foot on the floorboard. So <laughs> the, 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 um, the lowers, the bottom lowers, those help keep that wind, divert that wind from around you as you ride from around your foot so that you can actually rest comfortably on the floorboards. The way it is now with this particular crash bar, unless Harley Davidson comes out with a, a style of lower that will connect to this crash bar, and I don't like, some people don't like the word crash bar, highway bar, unless they make a lower that will connect to this highway bar, then either you have to change the highway bar 
or you're stuck with not having lowers, and I have to have lowers, so we're gonna have to work with Harley on that. As you can see, they got the speakers in the lid, all that's fine and dandy if that's what you like. Again, the CBOs come with, with the deeper bag, so even though you got the speaker lids, you don't give up much of your, of your space. Um, the sound system on the CBOs always come with the boom audio. They have different levels of that. To me, the sound system is mediocre. I, I always, no matter what, I wouldn't spend the money to upgrade to a boom audio. If the bike come with it, we fine. You feel what I'm saying? Um, this particular person, this is his highway bike. It's a beautiful bike. Now, let's talk about price range. This bike is gonna run you anywhere from 42 to 50 grand, depending on where you're getting it from, depending on the time of year you're buying it, depending on what it, uh, whatever it is. I believe for 2018, they only made so many, really, really limited edition. 1200. They only made 1,200. And that's it. it is that in each color or each style or just 1,200 CBOs, period? 1,200 each, each bike. Each, each, bike each color, each color scheme, they only made 1,200. Um, so you will not really too much pull up and see you know, too many people with this one. And as always, to me, Harley Davidson releases their flyest color in the end, but who wants to wait to the end to possibly, you know, be able to buy one, because they go fast. My buddy bought this one as soon as he, uh, he pre-ordered it as soon as it was available. He was able to get it, he, and he had to go outside of Georgia because the ones in Georgia were already bought. So, again, man, this is a 2018 CBO Roll Glide. It's an awesome machine. Um, as far as the power-wise, I haven't rolled it yet to know but I'm gonna tell you something. I have a 103, this is 14 more horsepower, and I'm pretty sure, I've already know that the 107s ride, uh, give you that little bit of torque, and the 110s give you that torque, so I can imagine what the 114, what the, one, what the 117 does. It's automatic. So, I don't have to ride it to know about the power difference, but it's still all in all, man. Much love to Harley Davidson, kudos to Harley Davidson. Uh, they have been biting our style. They are listening and <laughs> they are watching, man. The 21 inch wheel, the color combination, um, you know, giving the bike its own little style, putting the premium mirrors on there, the premium grips, premium, um, you know, levers, uh, the floorboards. Now, what they could do, one of the things that I, that I always tell Harley Davidson, if this is your best bike, now also, it doesn't come with a tour pack. He's already added this, his tour pack. These bikes do not come with the tour pack. So, um, you know, my friend is the day he ordered this, he pre-ordered his tour pack. So, and it gives it. You have to have that tour pack on the back of that on the back of that roll glide, man, to give it that ass. You gotta have that ass hanging off the back, man. So he ordered his tour pack. So that doesn't come with it. This one he ordered it. Um, but as a CBO from Harley Davidson, it should come with a tour pack. I don't know why they won't fully dress them, but you know what they say about Harley? They got to get all your money. They ain't gonna they, <laughs> they ain't gonna give it all to you in the beginning. They are gonna peel them pockets slowly but surely. So also. I don't know why, if this is your touring bike, why you didn't add the full foot, the passenger footrest, but you can upgrade to that, I'm pretty sure. It's just different things, man, but understand this. Pound for pound, dollar for dollar, it's not a bad buy. I know some of y'all are saying 40 grand, 50 grand for a motorcycle, you're crazy. Again, this ain't for everybody. Stay in your lane, buy what you can buy, afford what you can afford, ride what you can ride. But for my partner and them, this is what they ride. This, <laughs> this is how they get out. What do you say? Money ain't a thing, man. So it is what it is, man. But it's your boy, Big Cell. I gave you a review of it. I'm going to do some more pictures. And uh, maybe we can start it up so you can hear it. Uh, stock pipes. Uh, and again, don't forget, I love this. How they did the chrome, the uh, gray chrome pipes, man, to kind of accentuate that. Again, only thing I would do to this bike, raise the handlebars and... Maybe if the pipes are, are not loud enough, maybe add a slip onto it. I wouldn't change them. Um, these are true duels. I wouldn't touch the bike. A 21 inch wheel, hell, an 18 in the rear, you set. Period. All right, it's your boy FHOHNIC. I, I hope you guys like my 2018 CBO Road Glide review. And again, man, compliments to my partner. I appreciate his time, his effort, and his energy for letting me come over and even touch this old pretty piece of work. Because it's 50 grand. I ain't, I ain't got it. I'm just telling you right now, I ain't got it. Period. All right, <laughs> so y'all stay tuned, man. Peace. Okay, let's start this puppy up and see what she sound like.
So that's her. Uh, let me let y'all hear the sound. You can so join at $100 a month. You can if you'd like, but we're saying just whatever feels right for you. Um, maybe that's a single contract. Call 800 277 0157. 800 277 0157. 800 277 0157. You can drive away in a brand new Honda. I will turn on some news when I get on there. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, I don't want to get no copyright. But that's her, y'all. She's a beautiful piece of machine. Like I said, thank you, Harley Davidson. I'm trying to show you guys the gauges. They are lit up because it's hard to see, but they are lit up. They got that. Yeah, see that right there? Yeah. So, that's her. Oh, and don't forget, it ain't a CVO if that thing right there ain't lit up telling you it's a custom. That's what if you forget. Those who want to know what a CVO stands for, Custom Vehicle Operations. Yeah, Gold Keys. <laughs> I wonder if they still do the Gold Key. All right, so man, it's, that's been me, man. It's my time. I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. Again, a beautiful piece of machine, forty to fifty grand. Yeah, if you can get the closer you can get it to forty, the better of a deal you got. <laughs> so, it is what it is. But most of the dealerships are not budging. These things are hot. Again, shout out to Harley Davidson. I give it a thumbs up, um, to Harley Davidson for uh, creating a beautiful machine. The color coordination, all of the extras. They made everything more sturdier, the brake pedal, the floorboards, uh, and just everything in general. And we already know that this comes on a new system, so the, uh, the uh, stability, the, uh, you know, the, um, your traction and all of that is 10 times better than the older bikes. So it's a smoother ride, I'm sure. And again, you got the 117 cubic inches up under you, you got to be able to get somewhere. You feel what I'm saying? No ifs, ands, or buts about it. So that's my time, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, mad love to my partner who let me come over and review his bike. Mad love to Harley Davidson for stepping their game up. Again, get your bread up and go get you that CVO if that's what you want to do. Me and mine, I got seven more years on my warranty and I'm going to get the whole seven. Now, unless I hit the lottery, then I'll buy two, three of them. You know what I'm saying? But in the meantime, in between time, it's your boy Big Seller and I'll see him and I love you. The CVO 2018 Rogue Lot. Peace. Stereo is a joint though.